Hey guys, it's Comcom Hollywood Studios here, and would you look at that? Another day, another set of new Six Flags season passes. For those of you who don't know, Six Flags has had multiple different season pass types throughout the year. I think this is either the third or fourth major iteration, but there's been many smaller changes made throughout the year. Before this, we had memberships, or at least what they called memberships, and now they've switched it back to season passes. And the pricing is definitely a little bit different here. And of course, I want to keep you guys up to date on what the pass options and admission types are for Six Flags, specifically Six Flags Great Adventure. So I imagine other Six Flags parks may have slightly different pricing. I know Magic Mountain tends to be maybe a little bit more expensive on the higher end passes, but this is what they look like on Six Flags Great Adventure's site. And we are going to go through them and see which one is maybe the best bang for your buck, which one may be way overpriced, and overall just how the passes are. So first and foremost we have the lowest tier of pass which is the 2023 gold pass. So this gold pass runs you $64.99, you get general parking included, unlimited visits to Six Flags Great Adventure, 5% food and merchandise discount, unlimited visits for the rest of 2022, and unlimited visits until September 4th, 2023. So that means that this pass is not valid for the entire 2023 season. This pass completely cuts out Fright Fest and Holiday in the Park for next year, 2023. Additionally, you do not get access to Hurricane Harbor or the Wild Safari drive through adventure. You get no skip the line passes, no specialty rate tickets, no cabana discounts, no discount on season flash pass, no priority entry, and you do not get access to all Six Flags parks. With this gold pass, the only Six Flags park you will have access to is your home park. So in this case, Six Flags Great Adventure, not even the water park attached to it, just Great Adventure. Moving up to the next highest tier is the 2023 Platinum Pass, which will run you $89.99. So it's definitely a bit more expensive, but not too, too much of a jump between the gold and platinum. And the platinum definitely gets you quite a bit more compared to the gold. You get general parking, unlimited visits to Great Adventure, which is the same as the gold pass. You get a 15% food and merchandise discount as opposed to the 5% of the gold pass. Unlimited visits for the rest of 2022, unlimited visits for all of 2023. So unlike the gold pass, this pass will give you access to Fright Fest and Holiday in the Park for 2023. This pass will also give you access to Hurricane Harbor, New Jersey, as well as the Wild Safari drive through Adventure, which again, the Gold Pass does not give you. This pass will also give you one skip the line pass, and this is very vague. I'm not sure if this means one skip the line pass to use throughout the entire season or one skip the line pass per visit. I'm going to assume it's one skip the line pass to use throughout the entire season, not every visit. like the uh, legacy memberships are it's just one for the entire time which honestly is kind of useless i don't know when you're going to decide to use that one pass and you also get two specialty rate tickets again there's no details on what that specialty rate is i assume you have to already own this pass to be able to find out what that specialty rate is just like the other passes before these i am not able to find out what that is this one also lacks the unlimited visits to all six flags parks but at least you still get Great Adventure, Hurricane Harbor, New Jersey, as well as the Safari. So this pass is definitely a lot better than the Gold Pass. If you're someone that's only going to be visiting your home park, so in this case Six Flags Great Adventure, this pass seems like it's probably your best bet, mainly because it doesn't end early next year, and you also get access to Hurricane Harbor and the Safari, which in my opinion is, a, is definitely worth the extra $20 or so compared to the Gold Pass. And you also, of course, get all the amenities the Gold Pass has, plus the extra discount on food and merch. It's still nothing crazy. 15% is just pennies compared to what it used to be with the Legacy memberships, but it's still something. Finally, we have the 2023 Diamond Pass, which is a massive jump in price from the Platinum Pass. It will run you $249.99, definitely a lot more expensive, but you get pretty much everything. You get preferred parking, unlimited visits to Great Adventure, or your home park, whichever park you're buying this pass for, 20% food and merchandise discount as opposed to 15 or 5, unlimited visits for the rest of 2022, unlimited visits for all of 2023, unlimited visits to Hurricane Harbor, New Jersey, unlimited visits to Wild Safari drive through 4 skip the line passes, 5 specialty rate tickets, 
50% weekday cabana discounts, 50% discounted season the flash pass, priority entry to park and water park, and here's the big one, unlimited visits to Six Flags parks. So that means that this diamond pass that will run you $250 is the only available pass right now that will give you access to every Six Flags park in the chain, which is pretty wild especially considering people with legacy memberships, whether it's gold, platinum, diamond, diamond elite, VIP, it doesn't matter. You get access to all the Six Flags parks. Obviously those are not available for purchase anymore, but these are the options that are left. And I did go ahead and check. Thankfully, the all season dining pass is still available. They introduced this new dining plan when they introduced the last round of passes with the membership. Now they got rid of that, but they did keep the two meal dining plan. So at least that's still here. Pricing is pretty fair on it too. It's definitely more expensive than it was with the original passes, memberships before all these changes happened. But you're gonna get $109.99 for one meal dining plan, which means you get one meal every visit, or the two meal dining plan for $149.99 where you get a lunch and dinner every time you visit with only a three hour interval between meals. No snacks on these plans, and these plans also do not include drinks. And unless I missed something, it doesn't look like the new passes include drinks either, which means that you're not gonna be able to get unlimited soft drinks unless they're gonna have the bottles available for purchase. In the past, that's what they've done. They'll just have the bottles available for purchase, and you don't have to have a dining plan in order to get that. But I do find it interesting, and I overall just find all these changes very bizarre. It seems like they're kind of trying to test the waters with what, how much they can charge for a pass, how much people will pay, and this is definitely pretty extreme, seeing that only one pass has access to all Six Flags parks, and it's by far the most expensive. I mean, you can see here just the difference between if you were to pay monthly. The Platinum Pass has $6.99 per month after the initial payment, whereas the Diamond Pass is $28.99 per month after the initial payment. It's a ginormous difference. Very, very just surprising how big the price jump is between the Platinum Pass and Diamond Pass. Of course, like I said, I think your best bang for your buck here is going to be that Platinum Pass, but I'm going to say I don't really know if it's a good idea to buy any of these yet because we don't know if there's going to be changes. It seems like the passes change all the time now. So just keep your eye out for changes regarding Six Flags Season Passes before you go ahead and buy it. But I definitely think the Diamond Pass is pretty expensive considering you're not really getting the amenities that the legacy memberships got with unlimited soft drinks, the large food and merchandise discounts. This doesn't have that, so I think overall, the Diamond Pass really isn't too worth it for the price. However, these are the new passes for Six Flags. Who knows how long they're gonna stay this way, but here they are. I figured I'd update you guys on what the current status is, and here it is. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye, guys. Bye.